This week, it was revealed that Australian Rugby League Commission Chairman Peter Volandes would be attending a state dinner at the White House. NRL boss Peter Volandes has been confirmed as a guest at the state dinner at the White House with the US President and the Australian Prime Minister. He wants to sell rugby league to the world, especially the American market. And so he is here, he's been invited to the state dinner. The response to this news has been largely critical. Volandes, known for his charismatic communication skills and ability to promote his agenda, has been given a unique chance to pitch rugby league to the most powerful person on earth, President Joe Biden. I'm not introducing me, Mark is. I forgot Mark, I'm going to move straight to the podium. I apologize, no problem. Volandes was invited to the White House by Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, who shares his passion for rugby league. The event at the White House, scheduled to precede a state dinner, represents a rare opportunity during Biden's tenure. And Volandes is eager but uncertain about what lies ahead. It's a great honour um, to be here, and um, so I don't really know the details as to what happens during the night. I think they're, they're a well-kept secret, but I'm really looking forward to it and, and hopefully be able to sell Australian sport. In an effort to expand its reach, the NRL plans to hold a season-opening doubleheader in Las Vegas, which will take place at the Allegiant Stadium, home to the NFL's Las Vegas Raiders. We think we can generate significant new revenues for the game. Mm. I think all sports in Australia, uh, if we succeed, can provide content in the US market, and that's hundreds of millions of dollars if we do it right. So, great experiment for us, and we're going to rely on characters and personalities like Reese Walsh, or the Justin Bieber is rugby, of rugby league, as I like to call him. Volandi's attendance at the White House has raised concerns about his suitability for such a formal setting, as the reactions from NRL fans and Australian taxpayers has been overwhelmingly critical, doubting his ability to fit into the formal occasion. Do you agree with the backlash? Or do you think Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is in the right and has legit reasons to invite Volandis to the state dinner? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.